Hi guys, hope you are doing well, thanks for tuning into my video, I wanted to go over the store page today and give you guys a glimpse of what's on offer and the prices you're looking at. First off, we have the Battle Pass, Standard and Elite Tracks, basically all that's on offer is components and in-game credits. No weapons or attachments like we're used to in the other Division games, although it seems like very little, these components are what gets your gear and guns leveled up to compete. Next up, we have the Premium Currency Store, in my opinion, they're very, very expensive. Same goes for the Special Reward Sealed Caches, by the looks of things, the price is reduced upon completion of certain missions. Now we have the Monthly Privilege Card, this gets you increased inventory space of 30 items, I don't think this is needed now, but may be useful in the end game when you have more builds, still, I don't like paying for inventory space, plus you get extra Phoenix credits on daily login. The cosmetic page is okay, I suppose, but it's not something I'll be paying out for, before this we had the Agent Reward Tracks, paid and free. Next are the sealed caches that give you a weapon augmentation and skill mods that are relevant to the specific specialization highlighted, so like the demolition specialization, I have no idea what weapon augmentations are, it's something I'll have to look into. And lastly, we have the cleaners apparel event page, by the looks of things, it's 120 premium credits per roll, and it's a lucky dip for what you get. As always, thank you for tuning into my video, I hope this explains a few things in regards to the store, see you in the next gameplay video. Which should be a Dark Zone video, I need some gear items to donate so I can complete part of the story, so it's either going to be looting or going rogue to get those items, either way, it should be fun, thanks again guys for watching. I'll see you soon.